Okay, people, so I decided to get the community's response on this big question that's been burning on my mind right now as we approach the end of the 2022 year, and that's, well, what was the best anime moment, or what was just in general the biggest anime moment of 2022 thus far? And I went over on my Twitter, at Fineverworld, and I asked a question, and yeah, let's go through the responses because I think we've got some interesting stuff here. So the first response we got is in the form of a GIF, and that's Captain Yamamoto from Bleach in front of your watch. And I gotta say that, yes, the, sometimes words don't need to be spoken because that is definitely an awesome moment. And it just happened not that long ago. Then moving down, we got Bleach hands down. Again, all of the trailers and everything. Bleach has been absolutely rocking. Even when we get like interviews from Kubo and everything, it's just been all around exciting as hell. Then we got One Piece 1015 was definitely my favorite episode of anime to come out this year. The Mob Psycho episode with Gold Dimple was amazing as well. One Piece 1015, I haven't been keeping up on the One Piece anime. I do know, of course, we're in the Wano saga, where we're, I want to say Luffy and Zoro and the Worst Generation are going up against Kaido and Big Mom. But yeah, I got to go back because I've been hearing nothing but praise for a lot of these episodes for a long time. And then Mob Psycho, yeah, this season has been freaking amazing and I'd argue underrated. I don't hear as much love for Mob Psycho as I feel it deserves. Chainsaw Man is really good, but I have to give it a Bleach Thousand Year Blood War episode 6 and 7 alone the bleach comeback paired with the animation is disgustingly good and honestly those two right there are some of the biggest contenders for 2022 yeah they're coming in late but at the end of the day so far from some of the biggest moments i've seen is definitely in both of those anime but i probably lean more towards bleach and especially those episodes in particular they both had incredible moments especially with the captain commander and stuff like that so yeah i i see what you're saying them cheeks then Henron 3 said it would be One Piece and Bleach 1000 year blood war and both been in fire so he's just saying a general One Piece and Bleach and it's good to see that the One Piece anime is actually kicking butt again there was a little bit of a slump for a long time but I feel like since Wano it's just been up up and away so to speak with One Piece Suzerae 87 definitely Bleach returning just amazing how as I am a seasonal watcher and saw so many new different series but there's something special about Bleach and Studio Piro I haven't been this excited about about a returning series in so long and thank goodness that it has went above and beyond with delivering because it's one of those things where like yeah 10 years is a long time to wait for a return so to finally get it back yeah that moment when we got that first episode airing is also a big deal like that return right there is a huge freaking deal because that's 10 years in the making it's honestly ash winning the world championship i don't see bbc news variety espn sports center etc making posts on any other anime and to be fair, a part of that is due to the fact that Pokemon is like one of the most mainstream out there. And I have seen a lot of those places report on like Dragon Ball stuff and whatnot. Or whenever some of these athletes are involved or talking about it. So I have seen to a certain degree. But Ash getting the W on the championship, especially considering it's like something that's been years in the making... Yeah, I, I definitely say that was a really big moment. Bleach for show for show. The animation, OST, directing, and adaptation have been immaculate. The OG Gote 13 flashback in episode 7 was such a treat. All we got was one panel in the manga, so that was so cool. Yeah, I was surprised when I saw it in the actual episode. Like I said, I initially was confused. Like, wait a minute, was that in the manga? The fact that Studio Piro, along with Kubo himself, went through and expounded on that, considering the pacing is also very fast, is like Kubo is taking some of those cuts and using some of that timing to develop on other things that are a bit more important and more interesting than comedic relief so to speak. So far is unequivocally Demon Slayer season 2 and maybe AOT plot twist. I don't believe either of those was this year was demon slayer this year season two? Oh my god it might have been i don't know i feel so spoiled now but and attack on titan i think also ended this year oh gosh i'm so thrown the hell off on that one but yeah both of those were god tier but were they at the beginning of this year i feel so lost no the october anime lineup facts 
pretty much in a nutshell. If I wanted to end this video at one second long, I would just write the October anime lineup. Yeah. Denji getting that kiss or the animation on Bleach Styles in your Blood War. It's um point. Yo, that kiss though. Like it was, hey, you know, he finally reached the goal, so to speak. Ash has reached the championship, but there's a whole bunch of vomit, puke, and disgustingness all over the championship. Do you really want it? Nothing comes close to this, and it's an image, a gif of Eren as that Titan form, that creep Titan form. And again, I keep on forgetting, was this all this year? If so, well, yeah, then. And we're definitely having an even longer conversation for best anime of the year but in terms of moments this was fire i just for some reason god this year has been so freaking long if movies count then the introduction of cell max and superhero was bad ass it was okay-ish i'll be honest with you like shout outs to you and i respect your opinion and feeling on that but i don't know cell max wasn't all that grandiose to me i was hoping that we would have got perfect cell at some given point yeah missed opportunity maybe when they readapted for the tv anime at some given point huh then we got lirito eight said beast gohan okay that was a very big deal loved it gear five absolutely huge moment the return of bleach's anime and hunter hunter goddamn dog you listing all the goats spy family phenomenon spy family's been awesome the sasuke manga unexpected addition to the list because it came at the end of the year as well but i salute all of that that's it i can't think of any other gear five is technically a manga moment duh yeah and i was agreeing with it too like a dummy yeah no no, no yeah you can't include that one wrong i love one piece but the whole bleach anime return is just epic i mean yeah bleach pretty much this is its return it's waited so long it better be busting and it better be on everybody's minds because everybody was calling out for it top five as of right now Eren activates the rumbling okay so yeah attack on titan must have happened then this year the return of bleach bang both bangers then g becomes chainsaw man I wouldn't say that was would be my pick from Chainsaw Man. There was a lot of other ones, but, you know, okay. Kaguya and Shirogane finally kiss. Not familiar with that. David saves Lucy. Is this, like, fairy tale or something? I don't, I don't know. Still to come, Mob Psycho 20,000 hand-drawn frames. Mob Psycho deserves a moment from one of these episodes, man. This season, I don't know. Mob Psycho, I wish, was just one long season because it's all so good. And it just, like, flows so nicely. Like, season three doesn't feel different from season two. Other than the way the narrative is trying trying to structure it of like looking at life and then goals but still feels like seamless from season two christian banks ayo afro says bleach's return another one yeah yo it looks like honestly bleach is winning this one i i, I hate, like we've seen a few chainsaw mans and a few others but i think bleach already got it world to manga wise the reveal of shibai and foreshadow vision that was a huge moment demon slayer episode 17 of season two that fight was insane and if i'm thinking of the correct fight if he's referring to Uzui and Gyotaro I, I want to say that's what he's talking about or he might be talking about Tanjiro and Daki I'm a little off on that one but yeah Demon Slayer in general the last season was phenomenal latest episode of Bleach and Gear 5th when it comes well Gear 5th probably won't be here this year so. can't include that one sorry hard to say really I sat back and watched all I can watch for 2022 but I believe next year might be something to behold there has been that much this year to begin with Eisenlon versus Gyrosberg from the Legend of Galactic Heroes Dai Nue these anime okay <laughs> think it may have to be Cyberpunk Edge Runner for me that one i've checked out a few episodes i liked what i saw and i just kind of got distracted i need to return to it seriously yamamoto versus your watch that's a great moment to pick it's fresh and it's freaking incredible and deserving rumbling attack on titan yeah attack on titan might be up in the top three of all these i know bleach is winning demon slayer's gotten a few attack on titan's gotten a few yeah this was in my opinion Luffy approaching Kaido and Big Mom. That was fire. Easily the three AOT episodes. Two Brothers, Memory of the Future from you 2,000 years ago. Goated moments. Was that all this year? God damn, really? From Hermesar when Marin Kitagawa was in the love hotel with Gojo and then something awakened inside of him. I, I'm i scared ass, fam. I'm scared ass. What awoke inside, mans. So we'll, we'll continue to skedaddle on, lads. I even put a little, hi, it's Gojo. Hey, just little Gojo. Cyberpunk, dope. 
Dead Man Hunt Roof Piece. One Piece, again, been fire. It's Bleach time. I got to keep on sticking with, yeah, the return of the Bleach anime. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Attack on Titan 2 Brothers and Memories of the Future. Sorry, but it's the truth. Yamamoto versus your watch. Bleach coming back. Gear 5th Chapter. We're talking anime, dog. Y'all fooled me once. You won't fool me again. You should do your top 5 new gen anime and manga. Should I do that one? Let me know. Comment below. Hashtag do it and I'll... Do it. Kaguya-sama final episode. I think there's more to come though, right? Best so far, and it's a gift of Ichigo. Sounds about right. Bleach returning, I'd have to say. Indeed, and I'd have to agree. Not only is Bleach back, but they're making up for the trash filler. Jeez, a little brutal there, huh? Denji. Just Denji as a moment, huh? Just Denji's existence. Gotcha. Hunter Hunter return. Facts. Well, again, that's manga. That's manga. Y'all confusing me. Hi. Easy Gear 5th. That's manga. Chainsaw Man. Okay. Luffy Walk slash Red Rock and Bleach Episode 7. Good picks. Bleach Styles and Blood Episode 7. That's what the final season should look and be like. I kind of want that studio to do the final showdown for One Piece and to redo the fourth great Shinobi War. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad Bleach fans are eating right now. There's so many great moments. I'll shout out a few of them. Mob Psycho Season 3 Episode 6 was incredible and made me cry. Made in Abyss Season 2 as a whole was an emotional roller coaster. Episode 12 was bittersweet. Again, I have experience with Mob Psycho. Made in Abyss. I'm not watching. The rap episode of Love is War Season 3 was so funny. I have not checked out Season 3 of that either. Like seriously, I haven't laughed hard in a while if there was a single episode of love is where you need to check out is season three episode five is all about a character struggling to learn how to rap and finally episode four season of my hero academia twice that was a freaking awesome episode the climax battle of demon slayer season two dope rumbling dope the return of bleach and it's not even close fans waited for 10 years the studio Piro delivered facts give me my tis man <laughs> yo I i'll take it if bleach wasn't absolutely destroying the competition i'd say chainsaw man but holy shit bleach is just straight fire indeed this is tough would love to see your top five in a video and i mean if you're asking me what my list would be it would probably be a little more unorthodox in terms of i would probably just list like moments that connected with me or shocked me not only within the anime but maybe as the series or franchise as a whole had a move or whatnot so for starters on my list at number five is my hero academia season six essentially redeeming the anime itself after seasons four and five underwent scrutiny due to art and animation quality decreases post season three and a lot of people attributed that of course to the existence of the films saying basically that they divided the staff and you know they took the most talented people over to the movie side of things so a lot of ruckus about that but season six so far has been a pretty big success a lot of people for the most part have been pretty good with it i think this should have been one of those arcs where it's like oh unanimously this is insane this is the comeback from my hero academia so personally in terms of like on the grand scale of things it's definitely being dwarfed by some of its competitors this season but i'm still happy nonetheless that my hero academia's anime is redeeming itself then at number four was essentially the existence and my enjoyment personally on a bias standpoint of one piece film red even in my review that i posted a couple weeks back now after the movie dropped i spoke about yo i thought it was honestly one of the better if not best one piece movies out there and i still stand by that and even aside from all that critical praise that i've given it again i broke it all down in a review uh on a personal standpoint one piece film red was just so freaking enjoyable i'm not a musical kind of dude i've always been interested in stage plays but i haven't been to one in quite some time uh but one piece film red it didn't feel like even that it just felt like it utilized one of its muscles of the villain or the antagonist's ability to its marketing strategy, so to speak. And in general, One Piece Film Red, it was awesome. It was so much fun. It was so emotion-driven after a certain point. Such a reflection of the darkness of the music industry and something that uh, essentially people that are singing for freedom, so to speak, undergo. One Piece Film Red was amazing and shocking to me because, again, I was going into this one like, oh, I'm hearing bad things. I'm hearing a lot of singing. 
the singing was done when appropriate and it really was a part of the experience for me then at number three another fellow film one that i went into thinking it was absolute doomsday like i thought one piece film red was probably just gonna be like damn too much music i thought this one was going to be dead upon arrival i thought this was going to be blasphemy i thought i was not going to like this film or be able to enjoy it and i'm referring to dragon ball super superhero the movie that one being good at the very least just being good was shocking to me because i've always been very much so a more so 2d enthusiast and always feel like 3d which is at this point the inevitable future is going to you know wipe out our great and beautiful quality that we have with 2d animation but I have to be real with it. Dragon Ball Superhero, the movie, I loved it. I enjoyed it as well. I felt like Toei's approach at trying to go a little bit more mainstream with their latest offerings with One Piece and Dragon Ball Super, for me, they hit. Maybe it's because of where I'm at in my life. So personally, it's like, yo, dog, I feel almost like so hardcore. I could relate with Gohan and his relationship with Pan and working and all of that stuff. I feel very much so I could kind of sympathize with the character and it kind of immerses you more on an emotional standpoint and yeah it just it delivered it, at, at the very least did what it needed to do and beyond that because some of those scenes looked really dope especially gohan fighting in the rain against the gamas that looked really cool and was it perfect hell no uh the goku and vegeta scenes it looked very blocky for me out of everything in the film that stood out the most overall it was like yo it was a solid film, not by any means on the bottom of Dragon Ball films. It was pretty freaking awesome and, again, shocking as hell to me of being good. And number two and number one, very simple, I'm not gonna lie. Number two, Chainsaw Man, Mappa Deliver, you know what I'm saying, dog? Like, it's pretty much meeting and to a certain degree went above expectations with the advancement of technology uh with some of the cgi that they're using that it doesn't feel noticeable you can argue occasionally you know it's not perfect but nevertheless chainsaw man has been a freaking sweet beautiful success in terms of just hitting all the boxes at first i was skeptical because the first couple episodes it dove into a more serious approach to the comedy by like episodes three or four it found its rhythm and now i feel like oh okay yeah this is the chainsaw man manga in anime format so beautifully done and uh, i'm loving it i'm loving every episode even though it's very difficult to talk about in this climate. And then number one, Bleach. Number one, Bleach, dog. Thousand Year Blood War. This is worthy of the wait. Like, there's nothing else to be said other than it was worthy of the wait. It was a long wait, but Studio Puro have shown what they're really capable of with the proper time to prepare and proper budgets, proper talent, all of that good stuff. Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War has been you know its existence has been awesome if i picked a moment from that one it would probably captain yamamoto's bankai or honestly even yeah i don't want to go too heavy into it but yeah probably his bankai uh, from chainsaw man it just be powers existence in anime format finally there you go that's my list a little convoluted a little unorthodox but there ash becoming world champion definitely gohan beast ichigo bleach hasn't come yet bleach is sweet and so is chainsaw man pause by the way on the hasn't come yet definitely not anything boruto related ah, ah, ah. did you read the latest chapter though did you read the latest chapter well no we're talking about anime fuck he was telling the truth cyberpunk edge runners to me gif of uzui gear fifth simply bleach returning yama's bankai so far this right here perfection bleach has just destroyed the shit out of this bleach Yamamoto catching that fat ass L to your watch or Byakuya asking Ichigo to save the soul society after getting bodied by Asnot. Just the Bleach anime in general. Biggest death of 2022. Love you, bud. Was that 2022's anime? That was 2021. No. The spectacular return of Bleach without a doubt to end it off. And I once again have to concur. Really cool moments to hear so far. The best moments of 2022 anime. Let me know what you guys think though. What are your moments, your best moments so far that you've seen and anything you're looking forward to in the future. I'm Fanub World and as always people, have an awesome day. Subscribe and hit that bell to get more. Yeah.